My name is Jeff Koinange. I work as a, the chief anchor for a network called Arise Television News. Um, based, actually, I'm a, I'm a commuting anchor, so I'm based in London, New York, Johannesburg, always on the move. Um, the name of my project, the, tight, the working title is Front Row Seat, and it's memoirs of my journey of discovery as a reporter in Africa for the last 20 years. Working in Africa the last 20 years has been, for lack of a better word, an incredible experience. Uh, having that front row seat, and that's why I call this project Front Row, because the stories that happened in Africa the last 20 years, the major breaking news stories, I was there to report them. And I kept a journal with me throughout, and I would write dates and events and places I'd been, and I'd always, always told myself, one day I will put these in book form for, pos for posterity. Our children, the children after that, they have to know what happened in Africa in the 90s, in the early part of this century, going forward. Because for the most part, Africans don't write their own stories. Our history is so oral, passed down from one person to another, one generation to another. Someone has to start writing it down. Someone has to tell these stories. And the fact that I, I am from Africa, I grew up on the continent, I covered the continent, it's only fair that I write about the continent. I wrote a book once uh, when I was in university. It was part of my thesis. Um, I was studying the history of my grandfather and my family, who was very prominent during the struggle for independence in Kenya. So uh, with that project, getting to know my family, number one, getting to do the research in a university in America about something that happened in Africa was extremely difficult. And I would commute. I would actually get on a plane, commute to Africa, come back to New York, do the story. And, but it was fascinating at the same time. I find out, found out things about my family that I didn't know. And um, it was extremely challenging. It was very rewarding. And when I finally finished that project, I told myself, wow, I wonder how many other stories like this there are on the continent. How many other people have families who did so much, but it's never told. We are never told. So it's very similar to the fact that I wanted stories to be told. I wanted to be the storyteller. So that first project definitely was a springboard to writing this new one. The fact that there's so many people from so many different backgrounds here at Bellagio, you know, policy analysts, other writers, thinkers, it's literally the best of the best in the fields they represent. So every time we meet in the scheduled allotted periods, whether it's the breakfasts, the lunches, the dinners, the evening drinks, it's, it's an exchange of information, an exchange of ideas. We bounce off each other. And the fact that the backgrounds are so different from yours is even better because they can contribute without being a conflict of interest. And that is so rewarding because you go back to your room and you say, hmm, I can do this differently, or I can do that differently, or that person had a really good point about this, that, and the other. It's, I love being around people like this. I feel, I feel privileged because a lot of them are PhDs. You know, they've studied for decades. Many of them are experts in their fields. And it's great just to balance off ideas, just to be in their presence, share the same oxygen with them. That's fantastic for me.